What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a very exciting big rip, one of our biggest on the channel. This is 2021 Panini National Treasures first off the line. So we'll be reviewing this box here today. Before we get started, we have a giveaway going on the channel. As always, if you guys like these videos, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, share, comment. If you guys like sports card content, we'll have many more like this and not like this. I'm doing product reviews, both big and small, retail, hobby, and chasing cool rookie cards, things like that. So if you guys like uh, videos like that, sports card stuff, definitely subscribe to the channel. Now for the giveaway, we are giving a box of Select H2. So this is what these look like. This will be one of our upcoming reviews, so stay tuned, and we'll be reviewing this one. And um, yeah, so a box of a box of Select H2 will be the prize. If you want to enter, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then in the comments, comment down below what is your favorite sports card product and why. So very curious to see what you guys um, prefer, what's your favorite. So uh, that's it. You are entered. Now all the rules and information down below in the description. So if you're interested in you know learning more and make sure that everything's good, all the info is down there. And um, one entry per person, no additional entries on multiple accounts. So, National Treasures time. In the background, we have our IG Pac-Man cards. I actually posted some pictures of the cards from the set, the big ones, on my Instagram. So if you haven't already, definitely drop a follow. Check it out. We got Kobe Eminence and Zion 101 from the National. If you haven't seen our National vlogs, definitely check it out. But we have those in the background helping us out. So hopefully we get, get that good look. But we have an early first look at the first off the line box. And first off the line is very, very similar to Hobby. I'll, I'll get into it um, a little more in a second. So let's get this box open first. Oh boy, dude, this stuff is, uh, you know, this is the pinnacle of basketball stuff pretty much. And so we'll be reviewing this uh, first part of the review, obviously is the information on this product. So, and this box is kind of like a little smush, but anyway, uh, information on this product. So if you're interested in getting one for yourself, this could be definitely helpful. So SRP is 1250. I believe that's increased from the year before. Um, now there's hobby and this first off the line hobby will be about 3,500, 3,600, somewhere around there for resale. First off the line is over 6,000. And I'll tell you guys why it's such a big difference despite being almost the same, except at the end, I'll show you. So uh, there's usually 10 cards per pack and then one pack per box and four box cases. The first off the line has 11 cards. So four autos, four mem cards. I, I personally don't love that there's four mem cards. I feel like if you're gonna, you know, such a high-end product, more autos instead of mem would be nice, but uh, maybe you can get some cool patches, logo man, stuff like that. And then one base slash parallel, and then one one of one printing plate. So that's a guaranteed one of one. And then so the first off the line has 11 cards, and that'll be a bonus RPA. There'll be purple to 24, gold number to 8, or blue number to 3. So there's 50 guys in this set. Usually it's like about 40 for other products. This one's 50. Now the stuff you want to look for, the true RPA. Speaking of those RPAs, the vertical true RPAs are the card you want to look for for these uh these rookies so that is the card which is why these are so much more expensive because you're guaranteed an rpa in these boxes when rpas is a logo man one of ones uh, one of one platinum parallels one of one personalized autographs with inscriptions there is um those one of one logo man rpas are the number one card you can get for rookies so Lamelo, zion lucas that's the card for them now that we knew this year 2010 and 2011 crossover rpas number 211 for 2011 and number 10 for 2010 these are very risky, high risk, high reward, but the highest potential reward, but definitely the highest risk. Uh, I'd say the cards are about 130 point. We'll see when we open these. And um, so this is just hobby plus the RPA. So if you're wondering what hobby looks like, just ignore that last card we get pretty much. And there you go. So um, yeah, that being said, let's get into this box here. So you get this sleeve and yeah, our box is kind of smushed, but I don't think that'll be a problem from what I know in the past about the way they make these. So first off the line here, there's everything you can find. There we go. So a lot of stuff in these boxes and here is our box which I mean looks like a Hagrid sat on it so let's crack this thing open this is what they look like in the past they I think they used to be wooden boxes they're not anymore and there's a like a pack or mini box inside oops there we go that is there we go here's our one box and so the box should be like this yeah bars got kind of smushed Anyway, hopefully the box, this box has given us some uh, some good pull, some good luck. Here's our little mini box of National Treasures. So here we go. That RPA, it could be anyone. Obviously, any RPA is of a good player is good because that's their card to get. So anyone with potential, anyone obviously a top rookie would be a huge card to get. And I don't know if I cut that well, did I? Maybe not. We'll give it one more cut. And... Nope, I think I did cut it fine. All right. So let's get this box open if we can and see what we got. Definitely a nerve-wracking 
ripping. This box is like almost too tight for for the uh, like the cover is too tight for the box. Okay, there we go. Huh. Yeah, that was uh, packed pretty tight. All right, so here's our cards, and put these just like this. Now, Lamelo might be live. I'm not 100% sure, but from if you saw my Instagram, you know that we posted pictures of the the set, and they showed some Lamelo autographs. It was kind of an abbreviated autograph, but yeah, if you are, I guess, looking to get some Lamelo autos, they might be live in here. So let's see what we got. Here's our first card. We got a Jordan Clarkson. Get to focus. 23 of 99. Man, I'm I'm nervous. This is a this is our one of our biggest ones yet. These thicker cards are more prone to damage, as you can see. I frequently find these kind of lines all over thick cards, which is unfortunate. But uh, that is how it is. Unfortunately, uh, I guess it's kind of tough to keep these in better condition. But next card up, and once again, you guys like these high end rips. Definitely show support in these vids. Um, you guys' support helps us do these big rips. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel, share and comment. We'll definitely have more like this and the giveaway. All the information is in the description. Uh, okay, so we have our printing plate. It's Hassan Whiteside. Not the best printing plate. So all the products we see, like this is National Treasures, Hassan Whiteside. But um, yeah, I mean, you can find like a, like a Zion. You can find like anyone. All the printing plates, which make the cards that we see here. All those cards have a printing plate. They get put in this product here. So one of one, Hassan Whiteside. I don't know if they've always guaranteed one. I actually didn't even know they had them for the longest time. And then um, now I do know, but one, one of one uh, Hassan Whiteside there, printing plate. Next card up. So you really want to hit a big RPA, especially with these first off the line boxes. That is, that's that's what you're hoping for. That's the big card. 66 of 99 Terrence Mann. Look nice in the playoffs. Yeah, so these are about 130, I'd say. If you want to be safe, you can go one size up, but I think at least for the kind of the base ones, 130 should be fine. I think, I hope. Right, so now that being said, you still have a chance at regular RPAs. And there's a CJ Ellaby jersey, 88 and 99. So this is pretty much just a hobby box plus that first off the line bonus. So you can still get a true RPA. You can still get the logo man stuff. It's just at the end, they added that uh, bonus first off the line RPA, which I guess question for you guys, would you rather have first off the line for you know over $6,000 or would you rather have the hobby for maybe like the little over half. I mean, but once again, those RPAs are not guaranteed in hobby boxes. So another Jersey card. And once again, we have four Jersey cards per box. So John Wall to 99. Like see the Jersey cards aren't really making a, making a huge dent. So that's why four Jersey cards. I personally wish there were more autographs instead of Jersey cards because you know, four Jersey cards, how much is that? Right. Unless you get like a patch or a logo man, which you can get, but it's definitely in the autographs, and even the autographs aren't going to make too much of a dent until you get to those RPAs or logo mans, big stuff like that. All right. Next card up. So our final jersey here to 99, Trey Young. Okay. So there's the the back here. Game worn. like to see it. Nice trade. Miss Pac-Man like this one. There we go. Now, if you guys have opened National Treasures before, let me know what your biggest pulls are. You ever pull anything good, or maybe there are no big big pulls. Maybe it's in a been not too good. So I'm curious to see. Have you guys done well? Is this something you even consider opening? But first off, the line national treasures. So right now, we're just going through the first ten cards, which should pretty much be like a hobby box. Should be a first auto. Thanasis. We got Giannis. We got Thanasis, a champion. Might I add? I love the FaceTime at the end when he's like, I'm coming to the hotel. He's like, no. He's like, no, 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 no. Love uh, all the brothers there. Awesome guys. Down to earth. Really great guys. So very happy. Happy for them. And I wonder, did he ever have a rookie card? I'm not sure. Because I don't. you don't see him often at all. That's actually a pretty cool card. It's a, it's a cool one. So, I mean, let's see. Let's put our 130 to the test. Does this fit in a 130? Yep. So there you go. 130 is perfect. Fits, uh, fits like a glove. All right, next autograph. And we either have a redemption or like a blockchain card or something like that. Okay. All right. Apprentice Inc. Uh, Jemias Ramsey. Hmm. Th now this, now you guys know this is a 100% a, a Pac-Man video. We always pull either Jemias Ramsey, Oturu, 
or good, which uh, Mr. Wiseman. That's a good one to get. All right, so Jemias Ramsey on card. A lot of these guys are looking good in the summer league. I mean, once again, this is summer league. You don't want to put too much talk into it. Anthony Bennett balled out, I think, at one point. And, you know, he, he was a bust, unfortunately. I like Anthony Bennett. Good for him. You know, he was a cool guy. But, all right, I think we have a, a redemption here. So let me pull Lucky Curry. Let's see if he can uh, deliver for us. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no, we don't have redemption. Oh, we got Bane. Okay, so here's a private signing card. And he's been balling out in the summer league. But uh, they added these in a bunch of the products. And they do this sometimes. They'll add kind of cards from... Um, how do I describe it? Just like private signing cards. Or cards from other products. Kind of cards from their own little inserts that they made. And they'll just pop them in there. So it's not that's not really a National Treasure card. Because I think we pulled them in Noir. And they're just going to be in several of the sets. So that is a thin card. That is definitely a gonna fit in a regular top loader and sleeve but yeah they do this i i personally don't love that they kind of just insert these in the icon private signings desmond bane now that's for the pc so i'm 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 very pumped about that i always like my guy bane but you know if i'm opening national treasures i would prefer that they all be national treasures cards but these are cards you can find in here so there you go all right so uh should be this should be our last card in the hobby box and then we get to our first off the line bonus so let's see what we have here these last two cards are your uh your money makers right here or or not if you don't get good luck here we go got a james wiseman 13 to 25 that's a good card that's a good card now that is going to take much more than a james wiseman to uh you know take this thing home for us now it's funny just what a few minutes ago i told us one wiseman per box so we're on pace for a two next then I hope I'm not right, but it's looking that way. But nice. I'll take a Wiseman, absolutely. Don't want to give up on him. Don't know if he'll if the Warriors keep him. They haven't traded him yet. As of now, I haven't really heard that they're planning to, but I feel like he'd be better off in a different environment. So it's a nice card, but we all know that's that's not going to do it for us. We're going to need something huge in this last card here. So this is the first off blonde RPA to 24, which would be purple, 8 gold, or 3 blue. All right, let's see what we have. Here we go. It's a pretty heavy card, actually. All right, our RPA is Robert Woodard. Robert Woodard. So that patch is uh, pretty nice. Was that jersey number, actually? Is that a small bonus? Is he 13? I think that might be jersey number. Robert Woodard. All right, well, maybe Tyrese Halliburton? I don't know. It's still really cool to rip these boxes in. We got a true RPA. If Robert Woodard ends up being good, Good for us. We've uh, been a King's Magnet, unfortunately, not for Tyrese Halliburton. So the Wiseman, once I saw the Wiseman, I was like, oh, that, that's got to be it. So Robert Woodard, once again, the three-year rule states that uh, can't can't give up, can't write him off yet. But I don't know. I haven't seen anything too crazy that makes me go, yeah, this guy's going to be a, a superstar. But there's our RPA. So it has an acetate kind of finish on top, and you get a really chunky patch. This is jersey number. So Woodard. I'm officially rooting for you. So, um, yeah, there you go. Not the best box. The Wiseman would, and this one, like, even the bad, put like, sorry, I don't mean to say bad, but even the not the best players, um, they're, the RPAs are the RPAs. So, our National Treasures was okay at best. And, um, yeah, maybe there's a bonus card. Just, yeah, no. Oh, we shake the box, hoping also you hear a clank. What? Well, Mellow one of one? No. But, anyway, here's a, uh, a recap with everything we had. Let's start with these. Here, so here's our four jersey cards, and then we'll give our after this recap of my final thoughts, ratings, and reviews on the product. I've got Trey Young to 99, John Wall to 99, CJ LB to 99, and to 99, Terrence Mann. One of one, Hassan Whiteside. To 99, Jordan Clarkson. Every card is every card is a 99. And then we get to our autographs. Two kings, two rookie kings. We're good, right? Jemias Ramsey, Thanasis. Bane. Bane, I like that for, for my collection. Wiseman, which is actually a pretty good card. I would love to swap these two, and this one be the Wiseman. But Wiseman to 25, uh, which is, is a solid card. Can't complain about that one. But our RPA, Robert Woodard, rooting for you. I think that's jersey number, if I'm seeing that correctly, 13. So that, that is a small bonus. So any uh, Woodard super collectors, we got them. Anyway, uh, so that does it for this one. Overall, my thoughts on this product, if I'm going to um, have to rate on a scale from 1 to 10, 
Once again, ceiling is a huge thing. This has the highest ceiling. Uh, the floor can be very low though, and the price is very high. So at the end of the day, all things considered, and one thing that is going to knock it is four jersey cards. I don't love how it's four jersey cards, and you know you get eight hits before them are, are like, yeah, you know, jersey cards not gonna be worth anything too crazy. So I'd have to say it's a, I'd say a five point five out of ten. And what's carrying that rating heavily and not making it lower is this is the fact that the ceiling is so high. But a lot of boxes, they're, they're a big risk, and um, you know very rarely will you get that that monster. They are out there, so if you want to search for them, they are out there. But it's not easy uh, the easiest to hit them. So let's close off with a few of my favorites. Finastis, which is a cool card. Bane for the PC, and this is a nice hit. We just, if we hit here, that would have been the big one, but Jemias, uh, not Jemias Ramsey, Robert Woodard. We did get Jemias Ramsey though, so that's other guys. Let me know, you guys gonna get a box for yourself, and if so, I uh, wish you the best of luck. If you did open one, let me know what you got. And uh, once again, giveaway going on the channel. If you wanna enter to win a select H2 box, which would be this one here, all you gotta do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your favorite sports card product and why. That's it, you were entered. As always, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe, share, comment, uh, helps us out, and support helps us do um, more videos like this one, trying the big product, so. A lot of fun stuff coming soon. Stay tuned. And we should have some breaks for this product coming on the on the site not too long from now. So stay tuned if you're interested in uh, getting some breaks. So that does it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.